Well, it looks like he's coming for a ride with us this time. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Um, well, sir, like, I really appreciate, you know, your interest in, uh, in my survey company, but uh, I'm going to have to let you go. Hey, I'm Jordan. And I'm also Jordan. This, this is, is Jordan, Jordan Squared. Squared. All right, and welcome back to Jordan Squared. We are back and ready to take on the Gargoyle Squared. It's like, you didn't cut me off this time when I made that joke. Uh, it's not funny now, though, but, I mean, whatever. So you got your plus fours Y-Hander. You got your plus one Estus Flask. I think you got this, frankly. You just got to be mindful of when the, the Gargoyle is actually swinging at you and where your eye frames are. Yes. They're usually towards... The Whoa! Way. Of course, you could just do that. Yeah, but you just chunked off more than a quarter of his health in one hit. Whoa, no, did not mean to push the attack button. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Fuck, he led me into that. Yes, he did. There you go. I guess it doesn't work if he's in the air. <sighs> One. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Stop breathing fire. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Yeah, there's a limited range on that, so... There you go. Oh, finally! Yay! Ooh, a gargoyle helm! Yeah. Uh, there's also the possibility of getting their tail axe. Twin humanities. Yes, it's basically just a hard humanity that gives you two instead of one. Nice. But there you go. You know, for having the same weight, it does actually have better defenses than your standard helm. Yeah, it is just objectively yeah, it better. Is, you're right, it is. Go for it. I don't think I've ever actually worn it, but uh, yeah, the the standard helm from the hard leather set is like, oh, it's just the same weight and better stats. Yeah. Go for it. Victory trust. drink. Yes. <laughs> I don't trust. That's it. I just don't trust. In this game, that is a fair stance to take. Well, so you have 11,000 souls now. Oh. oh. Yeah, I think you got exactly 10,000 from the Bell Gargoyles. Yeah, having the plus four on that weapon really made a difference. I want to get to a campfire, bonfire, and just upgrade my everything. And yeah. Then... Yeah. As much as you can, much as you want. <gasps> is this what I think it is? It is the first Bell of Awakening. That is why they are the Bell Gargoyles. Ding dong. Yeah, if you're playing online, you can actually hear that bell ringing if somebody else uh, playing the game rings it. Oh. Huh. Yeah, and there's a reason why it's framing this shot a certain way. Okay. I don't know if no, you're rocking that helm pretty good, though. Looks pretty cool, too. It's not bad. Now... Okay. There's a reason why it's framing that shot. Yeah, what it was showing the bell next to. To a broken tower? To a different tower. That was broken. Yeah, it's less That's... a tower and more a fortress, but yeah, it's... It, it, and when you ring the second one, it shows something else. It's basically supposed to say, it's like, go here. Can I... No, you cannot get off the ladder midway. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing in those rooms anyway. Well, that'd be rude if there was, if there was no way to get there. Ah! <laughs> Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. 
I think Latrex said he was from Kareem as well. Yet magnanimous are the gods. Come out to confess or to accuse. Uh what? Well, what is it? Uh yeah, this this is mostly multiplayer related. Although purging stones are um really handy. You won't need uh, well actually you might need them for where you're going next but they're expensive ooh bleeding resistance uh, well no because the the scimitar and falchion wielding skeletons in the graveyard had a bleed inflict so i suppose that's one thing you've encountered so far Oh. I mean, you can, this guy isn't going anywhere. You can always come back. If you want to fight through all those guys again, <laughs> just to get to them and shop. Ooh, karm karmic justice. I like the name. I don't know what it does. It's a miracle that does something multiplayer related. It costs 40000 <laughs> Not really anything. What does this do? Yeah. Um, covenants are basically, I don't know, teams, I guess, in oh. multiplayer. I mean, some of them have in game benefits, uh, others. And what don't. is absolution? Is if someone has put an addictment against Like, if you invaded somebody, they got pissed off and addicted you. Oh. You could. Um, and I don't. <laughs> Everybody likes to laugh maniacally in this game. But he was only... Jesus Christ. Like, he... Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, he only spawns after you ring the bell. But he'll still be there. Yeah, careful. If you over... You over swing that, you're gonna end up uh, going off the roof. And yes, you do have to take the ladder back down. There's no shortcutting by rolling off the roof. Why would I want to roll off the roof? For giggles, I guess, but then you'd have to run back up and get your stuff. Yeah. And without the boss window to protect you from the mobs if you tried to run past them. Oh, God. <laughs> but they don't respawn, right? Not, no, they don't respawn from you killing the boss. You have to rest at a bonfire for that. Yay! That's the second time actually you've killed a boss like super early in an episode as opposed to it being a note to go out on. Huh. You still beat the tor yeah, I was gonna say you were having more trouble, I think, with the the run up to that boss than the boss itself and it was just psyching you out. Yeah, I because I was so hyped like not hyped up but just psyched out by the gauntlet you have to run to get from here to the boss, yeah. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a run up. Now do I want to boost stronger or That's the thing, it's just like you already got a plus four weapon. That'll take you pretty far at this point. Like the most the most he could get it for you right now is to um I can get three level ups. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a question of if you want more health or endurance at this point. At most, you could get like you could get your weapon to plus five right now. You need to start finding the embers to go past that. There we go. More health and endurance. Mm -hmm. They're both at sixteen. Which is solid. I believe this is. The next way to go. Now well, you got your plus four weapon now. You want to try your luck with him again? Yeah. Yeah, you're dodging way too early a lot of the time. Wow. He he's, just he just wanted you inside his 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 hug region. I don't know what the hell this thing is. 
mean, I can tell you what its name is, but it's called the Titanite Demon. Ooh. Oh. That makes me happy. Why does that make you happy? Because if something's called Titanite Demon, I'm assuming I'll drop a lot of Titanite. I don't think I can take this guy. Because he's doing a lot. How does he even see me? <laughs> uh. He just does, I guess. No, I think it's a glitch. Oh god. I assume it'll give me a lot of stuff, but I, I, I can't be asked to do that. They do drop a valuable resource, yes. Oh, 200 and something. 67. That's higher than I thought it said. I thought it said 37. Last time I went the other way. Let's go this way. Sure. Remember, there was a Hydra. I was unable to get onto the Hydra's back. Yeah, that's that's just gonna ruin your whole day. Uh, learning that my weak attack can one shot an enemy hit. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah, your weapon's in good shape. I'm gonna say plus five is about the highest you can go right now. Uh, that orb looks enticing. Yeah, there's a key item you need to open that. I am both happy and sad. Okay, it, this is super easy to miss, so just turn to your left and hit the wall. This wall? That one. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's so like I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna let you miss that when <laughs> hey, there's a winged <laughs> thing up there. There sure is. I don't like it. Well, it might not like you, so... I don't know, my gut says kindle this one. Your gut's probably onto something. And how do I carry more flasks? By kindling further, but you can't do that this or at this stage of the game. Okay. Just want to make sure I wasn't missing something. Okay. I do like the aesthetic of this area. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, it's such good bait, though. Oh, I knew it was coming. I'm like, uh... And these guys just jump up out of the literal woodwork. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
I got a lot of good items, though. Yes, uh, the purple moss clumps will cure poison. The white, uh, or rather the blooming purples, will cure poison and toxin. You guys should actually start equipping these things. Uh, I'd say save the purple stuff for Blight Town. That's where you're going to need it. Yeah. Anyways, there was a fog well there, so next time on Jordan Squared, you'll go through it, and we'll see what awaits you. Probably oh, death. Well, yeah, that's a given with this game. One of these days, I'm going to encounter something that's extremely cute, cuddly, and fluffy, and I'm going to murder it, and then I'm going to learn that it's actually just cute, cuddly, and fluffy. You know what? I ain't saying nothing. Okay. <laughs>